Here's part five of my opening of 2,575 booster packs. I've uh, worked out an upload schedule um, as for, for what sets will be kind of uploaded on which days, a tentative schedule. I won't be releasing it though because I kind of want to keep everyone in suspense on what's coming up on uh, each day. But I will tell you that if uh, I, I work them out as, or at least go roughly along this schedule, it will be 75 consecutive days of booster openings. So uh, the reason why I'm spreading this out is to kind of give each set um, a little time to shine and, uh, you know, give, get that. I don't want to burden down everyone thinking, you know, uploading three to four booster op uh, booster boxes a day. And, um, you know, they probably wouldn't get too many views initially just because there's so many of them to watch. Um, I think one a day is kind of something for people to look forward to, but spreading them out enough that uh, everyone still, uh, is still interested. So as you can tell from the background, I'm uh, playing around a little bit with my cat's meowth um, as far as just uh, how to work it, and so here's, yeah, I, th I think that kind of looks nice. Um, it's a little up off the ground, so we'll see how that plays out. But anyways, let's go on to the uh, the actual opening. Today, I'm going to be opening up a Legend Maker set. And uh, I don't have a sealed box, but I do have, if I can pull them out here... 36 loose packs of Legend Maker. So this is a pretty cool set. Um, let's see, we'll see uh, actually how many don't get to be shown by just stacking them up. Yeah, something like that. Um, but yeah, Legend Maker is a pretty awesome set, one of the EX series. Uh, today is an EX series day. Uh, for those of you that haven't picked up on it yet or haven't watched some of the other videos, uh, Tuesdays are Wizards of the Coast series day, Wednesdays are EX series days, Thursdays are Diamond and Pearl and Platinum days, Saturdays and Sundays are Japanese days, and Mondays and Fridays are surprise days where I kind of work in um, whatever, you know, kind of overflowed or, you know, di I didn't have enough to to go through this week, I didn't, or I have too many to go through this week, something like that, um, just to kind of uh, keep things fresh, like I said. So let's go ahead and start opening these guys up. Um, I did buy these from a place called Hills Wholesale. Um, I don't know if that's their exact website, but you could probably Google it. And I just realized that I did the same thing I did in the last video, and I did not double check the order of the, uh, the reverse and the... Um, uh, Uh, rare. So, hold on. Yeah, sorry about this. Uh, figuring out real quick, it is one, two, one, two. Okay, one, two, one, two. Took me a minute to kind of figure out, <laughs> um, what the number was. So, lots of cool stuff in this set. Um, in fact, the tentacle right there has some really awesome artwork. Um, there's three stars in this set, uh, Reg Ice, Reggie Rock, and Registeel. There's seven EXs. Uh, the EX, actually, one of the EXs I want is Dustox, of all things, because my Dustox has a crease. So I want to get that all nice and mint. Um, but there's also Flygon, Mew, Bennett, really awesome EXs. So there's lots of great stuff to pull in this set. And uh, like I said, I got this from Hills Wholesale. So it's a site that I don't, I haven't really heard too much of, except for um, them having great prices. Uh, like I said, you can Google that if you want to look it up. Um, and we'll kind of find out in this video, <clears throat> excuse me, if uh, their packs are weighed or not, and um, if they're a reputable site to buy loose packs from. So let's go ahead and get started. Tentacool, Magby, Wurmple, Why Not, Omanite, Full Flame. Um, actually, PGMCS Skater wanted some of these for just a fun deck. And for it, and I must say that first Tentacool was uh, the coolest card of them all in that set, or. Um, the artwork wise and my reverse is an agron which is a rare so really awesome uh, first uh, pack to start off with a rare reverse and my rare is a huntail so we'll kind of make some different stacks here one two one two machop Root Fossil, C Dot, Sh uh, Skitty, Shuppet, Giant Stump, and Electrode. My Reverse, nice, a React Energy. Really cool looking uh, Reverse Hollow there. And my Rare is a Gorbis. So, two non hollow rares so far. 
Um, hoping, of course, for a star pool, but I really, um, I don't, since I've never opened the sealed box of this, I don't know what the, the EX pool is either, so, um, honestly, I don't know the rarity of the stars, so, um, they may be hard, like, maybe one in every two boxes, so there, there's maybe even a better shot that I'm not going to pull a star in this, uh, set. Magby, Clamperl, Trapinch, Claw Fossil, Why Not, Kabuto, and Giant Stump, and my reverse, Nice, Absol. Really, another rare and just a cool looking Absol. And my rare? Nice, a Lapras Hollow. The first sign that the packs are not weighed. So, um, for this big opening, I think um, one thing that I really want to provide to people is reputable sellers. So, places to buy loose packs from that you know they're not going to be weighed. Um, yeah, just, you know, trying to build up a good reputation for people, and hopefully I won't have bought from anyone that uh, um, has has intentionally gone through and weighed them. So hopefully I'll be able to get, give good reports to everyone. Trapinch, Tentacle, Magby, Wurmple, Why Not, Laron, cool Laron, and Cascoon. And my reverse is another rare reverse, Victory Bell. Um, not crazy about the artwork, but that is cool that it's another rare. And my rare is a Torkoal. So three rare reverses so far. Pretty happy with that. Trapinch, Tentacle, Magby, Wurmple, Why Not, Laron, and React Energy. My reverse is another rare, a Magmar. Awesome! Again, not a fan of that style of artwork, but still nice for uh, collectors. And my rare is another Huntail. So um, that is a downside to loose packs, is that while you may increase your chances, um, like an EX or a star card ratio, because they're not kind of stacked in a booster box, uh, you're also more likely to pull duplicates of hollows and rares. Um, while they don't intentionally stack booster boxes, I've found that in the boxes that I've opened, I've, uh, you know, haven't had too many uh, chances of running into multiple duplicates like I have in loose packs. Omanite, Growlithe, Ghastly, and there is a Gengar and ho uh, Hollow in here that I'd really love to pull. Lilip, Magnemite, which is cool looking Magnemite with the, almost like the moon in there or something. Oh no, it's not a moon, it's just the side. Anyways, it's a little lightning bolt. Uh, Kabuto and Electrode. My reverse is a C dot. And my rare, if I can pick it up, is a pincer. So maybe another non hollow rare, not looking good. Maybe they just missed one when they were um, weighing them out. Hopefully not. Centric. Sphiel, Geodude, Why Not, Root Fossil, Full Flame, Furret. My reverse is a Skitty, very cute Skitty. And my rare is a Soul Rock, so another non hollow, not a good sign. That is three, six non hollow rares and only one hollow. Um, that is a risk that you run by buying loose packs though. Whalmer, Centret, Chinchow, kind of a cool Chinchow, Trapinch, Tentacle, Ferret, Giant Stump. My reverse is Giant Stump. And my rare is another Torkoal. Not good. Um, bright side that if, if these packs were actually weighed, not only do does everyone know not to buy from that site, um, but I do get a lot of reverses out of this, um, to really mint out my reverse set. So, that, that is a good thing. Wurmple, Shuppet, Whalmer, Aaron, Grimer, Haunter, and Nuzleaf. My, uh, reverse is an, another rare, an Omastar. Cool looking Omastar, too. And my rare... Okay, here we go. Whale Lord, another hollow. So, you know, maybe the ratio, the numbers aren't going to be quite the same as a box, but it is good to see another hollow. 
And uh, at this rate, I might have a full set of the um, rare reverses by the end, or close to it, by the end of this. So uh, that is one good thing. Grimer, Wilmer, Wurmple, Magby, Chinchow, Tentacruel, and Fieldworker. My reverse is an oh no um it looks like it should be a a, a rare tentacle really cool looking tentacle and my rare is a spinda so don't have that one yet so that's good lilip why not omanite chinchow geodude power tree electrode and my reverse is another Magmar. So not good for a duplicate reverse. However, this is a rare, so it is nice to have a, uh, a duplicate rare reverse to add to the trade binder. And my rare is a Wobbuffet. So don't think I have that one yet, but uh, um, I, yeah, I'm not, uh, I haven't, didn't look up before to see what the EX ratio pull would be on a sealed box. Um, I was hoping to get kind of close to it, but unless it's hard to pull EXs in this set, it's not looking good. Trapinch, Bellsprout, that's a fir uh, first for that one. Wilmer, Why Not, Magnemite, Vibrala, that's another new one. And another new one, Tangelo, which is really cool, actually. I like that one. And my rare is Trapinch, so that's another new one. And my, or I think I said my rare, my reverse is Trapinch, and my rare is Magmar, which, uh, I don't have that one yet, but another non-holo. Shuppet, Root Fossil, Seedot, Voltorb, Geodude, Dunsparce, it's a first for that one, and Kabuto. My reverse is Omanite. Um, I don't, have I pulled one of those? I don't think I have. And my rare is Girafferig. So really not looking good. Um, it's looking like Hills Wholesale weighs their packs and they just missed a couple. Or, um, yeah, smart weighers will actually intentionally throw in a few so that they can't be accused of, uh, you know, weighing them. Bellsprout, Magby, Machup, Claw Fossil, Voltorb, Electrode, and Roselia. My uh, reverse is Roselia, and my rare is Absol, uh, another non-hollow, but one that I don't have yet, so that is uh, a nice pull, um, a really cool looking card too. We still have several, um, you know, we're not even probably halfway, or we're getting close to halfway um, with the opening yet, so there may still be a chance uh, or, or time for this opening to come around and start pulling some good stuff, but uh, right now, not looking like it. Centret, Chinchow, Sfeel, Geodude, Why Not, Ferret, and Laron. My reverse is Celio, which is uh, an uncommon and one that I haven't pulled yet. Um, and my rare, Giraffe Rig. So another non hollow. Seedot, Voltorb, Geodude, Sfeel, Grimer, Dunsparce, Kabuto. My reverse is another Tentacruel. Yeah, that is a duplicate, so not good with that. And my rare is another Huntail. So, yeah, unless this opening starts turning around, um, yeah, I... I Unfortunately, with things like this, it's not something you could really get your money back, especially considering I've been buying these over a long period of time. But um, it's at least nice to be able to warn people. Machop, Root Fossil, Seedot, Skitty, Shubbit, Dunsparce, Kabuto. My reverse is a Weeping Bell, which is another uh, uncommon that I haven't pulled uh, a non-reverse of yet. And my rare is Wobbuffet. So a uh, good thing is, is that I will have a full set of gem mint non-hollow rares. 
Growlithe, Omanite, Lilip, Ghastly, Magnemite, Celio, Fieldworker. My reverse is Lilip. And my rare. Hey, another non hollow, but it's a rainbow energy, which if I pull duplicates of this, is uh, still playable. So that is a uh, rainbow energy is actually a, a great pull. Um, like I said, just because it is usable and uh, will mean that it'll trade or uh, sell faster for duplicates. Ghastly, Lilip, Magnemite, Skitty, Aaron, Anorith, Curse Stone. My reverse is a field worker, which I don't think I have that one yet. And my rare. All right, well, we've got another hollow, a uh, Crottily, or Crattily. Uh, I think it's Crottily, but I'm not quite sure. I'm sure uh, someone will know how to pronounce it. So three hollows out of, um, see, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, and almost twenty packs. Nineteen packs so far and three hollows. So I think it's safe to say that, um, yeah, going by this, um, <laughs> Hills Wholesale gets a bad review. <laughs> Why not? Root Fossil, Ghastly, Trapinch, Growlithe, Celio, Machoke. My um, Reverse, nice, is a Mew. Another rare and an awesome, awesome card. Um, yeah, Mew, everyone loves Mew. And my uh, rare is another rainbow, so another duplicate. However, um, yeah, if they're going to be duplicate non hollows it's nice to have rainbow energies because, uh, like I said, they're still playable. Tentacle, whoops, Lilip, why not? Omanite, Chin Chow, there's a Celio, and React Energy. My reverse is a third tentacle. So, wow. And my uh, rare is Lantern, which is a new one, at least. Geodude, Growlithe, Sphiel, Grimer, Giraffe... Wait a minute. I must have done this wrong, because Girafferig is the rare. Um, I must have done one, two, three, one, two, just out of uh, of habit on older packs, so sorry about that. Tentacruel and Nuzleaf, and uh, I have a feeling this is going to be, yeah, the, there's a Machop. And my reverse is Kecleon, which is cool. Uh, an uncommon, which I don't think we've seen yet. Oh, giraffe rig I already have, so it goes into that stack. Yeah, let's count these out right this time. Lilip, why not? Omanite, Chinchow, Geodude, Mischievous, Strange Cave. My reverse is Golem. Nice, another rare. So if nothing else, um, tons of rare reverses. So that's a as a collector, that's a great thing. And my rare is Lunatone, so don't have that one yet. Um, at this point, if I get one EX, I think I'll be happy. Magby, Clamperl, Tripinch, Claw Fossil, why not? Nuzleaf, Weeping Bell, which is a really cool Weeping Bell with the sun coming down. My rare is Cursed Stone. And, or I'm sorry, my reverse is Cursed Stone, and my rare is Gorbis. So, I already have that one. So, I've got mm, still a good stack of packs left, so... Um, be nice to get at least a few more hollows. And sorry about the background noise there. It's an ice maker going. Trapinch. Whalmer. Bellsprout. Why not? Magnemite. Machoke. I think that's a new one. And Tangela. My reverse is a whale lord, another rare. So really doing well pulling the rare reverses. And my rare is another Cradley Hollow. So another hollow, but what are the chances of it being one of only three hollows that I've already pulled? Hmm. Very interesting.
Why not? Omanite, Mysterious uh, Fossil, Growlithe, Ghastly, Roselia, Mischievous. My reverse is Crottily, which is a rare, so again, another rare reverse. I'm pulling like 50-50, I think, uh, rare reverses, which is awesome. And my um, rare is another Magmar. Now, what would be really awesome is if they somehow misweighed everything and an uh, EX or a star slipped by and it waited until the last pack to show itself. Chinchow, Trapinch, Tentacle, Magby, Wurmple, Strange Cave, Roselia. My reverse is a C dot. And my rare is another Abzol. So that's another, it's a nice, um, it's one of my favorite rares probably of the set. So, and I know uh, lots of uh, Abzol is, a, is an awesome Pokemon for collectors too. So hopefully someone will be interested in them. Lilip, Why Not, Omanite, Chinchow, Geodude, Laron, Anorith, my reverse is Electrode, and my rare is another Giraffe Rig. Shuppet, Mysterious Fossil, Grimer, Whalmer, Warmple, Cursed Stone, Furret. My uh, reverse is, okay, really? That is the fourth Tentacruel. The other Tentacruel is in the other, um, in my stack of uh, non-duplicates. But wow, what are the chances of that? I mean, and there's no way you can wait for that one. And my rare? Awesome! A um, Mew Hollow. Okay, so, um, yeah, even if I don't pull any EXs, at least pulling some hollows uh, would be something. And the Mew Hollow, um, yeah, I'd say that's probably the best hollow in the set as far as collectoring goes. Um, my personal favorite after that, I think, would be, um, well, my personal favorite of the set is Gengar. But from a, a collector standpoint, Mew is probably the best pull. Um, and then, um, yeah, well, Gengar for me after that. Why not? Chinchow, Growlithe, Omanite. Lilip, Mischievous, and Strange Cave. My uh, reverse is a Centret, which is another new one. And my rare, all right, a Kabutops Hollow. So another a Hollow that I don't have, and another Hollow. So um, that's three, that's six Hollows so far. So we're getting much better in the ratio. Um, let's see if. Uh, if I only pull those six out of 36 packs, that's a one out of six hollow ratio, um, which still isn't great, but it, it's better than nothing. Um, so yeah. Voltorb, Skitty, Machop, Lilip, Clamperl, Electrode, Celio. My reverse is a Shuppet. Uh, I don't know if I have that one yet or not. And... Oh, something just fell down. Uh, I don't know what it was. And my rare is a Magneton, so I don't have this one yet. So uh, non-hollow rares are okay when there's something I haven't pulled yet. Um, I think I pulled like four giraffe rigs. <laughs> Magnemite, Geodude, Growlithe, Omanite, Claw Fossil, Machoke, and I think that is the first Kecleon. My reverse is Lilip, um, which I think I have that one, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in that stack just in case. And my rare is, well, okay, good news is another hollow. Bad news is I've already, I already have this one. So, um, yeah, weird. Uh, four packs left. So still hoping for an EX pull, but I have a feeling at this point, um, even they, they were definitely weighed to get the EXs and the star cards out because those have a lot more holofoil than anything else, so they're easier to weigh out. And anything with probably a low um, to medium holofoil weight, uh, they put in just so they couldn't be blamed for weighing the packs. Um, Centret, Magby, Clamperl, Trapinch, Claw Fossil, Power Tree, just kind of cool looking, uh, and Electrode. 
My reverse is a field worker, which I'm pretty sure I pulled that one earlier. And my rare is another Gorbis. So three packs left. Trapinch, Growlithe, Seedot, Omanite, Skitty, Kecleon, there's another Kecleon, and Haunter, which I must say, while I'm, the, the artwork is a definitely a, a bit of a different style than I really like, it's still a really cool looking Haunter with the trees behind it. And my reverse is a rare, it's a Wobbuffet. I uh, don't think I've pulled this one yet, so a great, another rare reverse. And my rare is a Pinsir, which I think I've pulled a Pinsir. I think it was, yeah, it was early. So, two packs left. Come on, Gengar Hollow. Um, yeah, it's pretty obvious that EXs are not going to be in the, in this. But I uh, can still hope for a Gengar Hollow since it doesn't seem like they did a good job of weighing out all the hollows. Ghastly, Mysterious Fossil, Tentacool, Lilip, Why Not, Full Flame, Machoke. My reverse is Mysterious Fossil. And my rare is a Spinda. So I already have that one, so here it goes. The last pack. Centret, Chinchow, Trapinch, Tentacle, Magby, Graveler. Actually, I think that's the first Graveler. And Cascoon. My reverse is a Voltorb, and my rare, which it doesn't look like it has that hollow curvature to the card, so it looks to be a rare, or non-hollow rare, is a Rainbow Energy. So, uh, Hills Wholesale Gaming either intentionally weighs their cards, or doesn't really keep a close eye on um, who deals with their product, and someone else went in there and uh, sorted them out and weighed them before uh, putting up them up for sale. I honestly don't know how the site works. Maybe it's something that you can actually sell packs to them, or you, or they buy out lots of uh, of loose packs from other places, and so they didn't know they were weighed. Um, either way, uh, I've got a few other things that I purchased from them, so we'll kind of see throughout the opening if uh, if their reputation increases any. But definitely with uh, Legend Maker, um, it did not go over well at all. Uh, pulled several hollows, let's see, um, seven hollows out of 36 packs. So that's um, a little, that's not even a one out of five hollow ratio pull. No EXs, no stars. So um, yeah, as of right now, I would not recommend them. However, if you're considering ordering from them, um, stay tuned for some of my other videos where I do have other things open by them. And like I said, maybe they'll improve or maybe not. So I'll go ahead and uh, and get an overall um, set video done. And uh, yeah, uh, here it goes. For the recap, we're going to start off with the reverses, rares, and hollows that are duplicates, but are still gem mint, C-Dot, Lilip, Field Worker, three Tentacruel, Magmar, which is a rare. The hollows are Wailord, Crotally, and rares Rainbow, Spinda, Pinsir, Gorbis, Girafferig, Abzal, Magmar, Gorbis, Girafferig, Rainbow, Wobbuffet, Huntail, whoops, Girafferig, Torkoal, and Huntail. Probably should have sorted them out, but oh well. So here is uh, my. Um, completed set because it has been completed for uh, over a year now. However, the cards that are now uh, in green, so that, uh, yeah, that have been placed in green sleeves and then put in this binder are now gem mint. So that didn't include too many of the hollows. We just had Crotally, Kabutops, and Lapras, uh, Mew, and Wailord. But I did get almost a full set of non-holo rares, which is surprising that I didn't get a complete set. Missing uh, the Omastar in, uh, uh, from that set. However, um, that Omastar, I believe, is gem mint. And a lot of my cards still are um, near mint mint and sometimes um, mint gem mint. But yeah, so there's all the rares. And I also have a complete gem mint fresh from the pack common and uncommon set.
which I really do like the artwork. It's still a bummer that uh, these packs were weighed and there's no EXs or stars. Um, although there is a slight chance that I just got really unlucky. But this is what comes in the set. Uh, there's all the EXs, the three stars, and a Pikachu, which is a box topper. It's a secret rare. So I did get a, uh, a quite a few nice reverses to add to um, uh, to add into here as far as being mint gem mint. Um, so again, we have them in the special sleeves, and I'll just kind of go like that because I know it's difficult to see which ones are mint and which ones I had previously, or I should say which ones I pulled and which ones I had previously. So kind of a show off of the set as well as, uh, you know, what is now fresh from the pack mint. And later on, I'll go through here and figure out exactly what is still near mint mint of what's left and what needs to be replaced. And um, I'll be updating those on trades. So, uh, thanks for watching my Legend Maker booster opening. Wish it could have been a little more exciting, but um, still, uh, it's pretty fun for me. And uh, stay tuned for tomorrow, which is a Diamond and Pearl slash um, Platinum Series day. So, plenty of sets to choose from there.